Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR. Today, we are talking about SpaceX, the SN15, the tweets Elon Musk has been shooting at us, and some other things regarding the FAA with SpaceX and Amazon, Jeff Bezos. If you want to know all about that, be sure you stick to the end because it's kind of funny in my opinion. But let's get right into the SN15 and the Starship. So earlier this week, Starship SN15 finally underwent a successful static fire, as far as we know, successful. And why do I say as far as we know? Well, it did two static fires and people were kind of skeptical about it. So here we have the video of the first static fire. This is from Mary Boca Chica Gal. And then we can see here, Elon Musk had tweeted that the Starship SN15 static fire completed, preparing for flight later this week. Now this was after the first one. So people were kind of confused saying there's no need for another static fire because usually they have to do two. So eventually they did end up doing that second static fire. You can see here Starship updates, giving updates about that. And we see here, Everyday Astronaut, he had retweeted this video from NASA Space Flight regarding that second static fire and was quite questionable about it. He's pretty knowledgeable in this area. He you know, studies it. He's Everyday Astronaut, if you guys don't follow him. And he was saying he was skeptical about this and didn't think that this static fire for the SN15 was complete and was worried that there were problems. But luckily, Elon Musk did come to confirm that that was just the testing of the header tanks and that everything was all good it's great to see when elon musk tweets about something like this because it gives actual confirmation instead of us just having to speculate about what is going on down there so as of right now the sn15 it is all set to go for launch static fires have been completed and are successful and spacex is now just working with the faa to get the clearance for that launch originally it was looking like today wednesday would be the launch of the SN15. I don't think that will be the case though. So if we can look here at this photo of a TFR from the FAA, if we can see here the beginning date is actually April 29th through the April 30th, will be the earliest that we can see closures. There's a road closure and a beach closure in that area of Boca Chica today. However, I, I don't think the SN15, it's going to do that today. I haven't seen any TFRs for today. If I do see like that, or if you guys have heard anything else, be sure to let me know down in the comments, but as of right now, it's looking like tomorrow will be the earliest that we will see the SN15 take launch. Now, if all you guys wanted to know was about that, I understand. Just be sure on your way out, you drop a like on this video. It helps me out tremendously. But let's get into more SpaceX related news if you're still curious. Now, the next thing we have here is regarding the Artemis program and how SpaceX won that and Blue Origin did it. Kristen Davenport from the Washington Post tweeted this from a statement that Elon Musk had made that Blue Origin bid was just way too high double that of SpaceX and SpaceX has much more hardware progress. And on Bezos, he had said that he thinks he needs to run Blue Origin full time for it to be successful. And he wants it to be successful. I can understand why he would want it. He wants competitors. He wants an actual industry of space, not just a single successful unicorn that gets us to Mars. And this is just the first kick in the balls to Jeff Bezos when I talk about the next thing we have. But it's true, Blue Origin, they the price that they gave was way out of what SpaceX could do. SpaceX has years of trust and shown proven success with their rockets and their technology. So of course, uh, unfortunately for Blue Origin, they didn't get that Artemis contract, which is a big hit to the company, but Jeff Bezos, he is now running Blue Origin full time. So hopefully Blue Origin within the next coming years will be something that we can talk about and have actual discussions about what they're doing because as of right now, it's pretty much, it's like kids in a sandbox. Now the next kicking the balls to Jeff Bezos. So the FCC approved SpaceX's modifications to their Starlink license. What is that? Why does this matter to Jeff Bezos? So Amazon, Jeff Bezos, the company, was trying to stall and stop Jeff Bezos, or not Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, SpaceX, from getting this new license with the FAA. This allows for more of the Starlink satellites to actually go into even lower orbit than they already are. And it comes at the perfect time because literally within the next few launches, they weren't even going to be able to put Starlinks up unless they had this approved license. Reason why Amazon and Viasat, they wanted to block this was because they were saying that it would disrupt already existing satellite communications, which the F F uh, FCC, I'm sorry, said, no, it's all set. That's not a cause for concern. And they're going to go ahead and let Starlink continue to grow. It's kind of odd because you think like the FCC, I've never, the FCC, they don't care about people. These guys are money hungry. So I'm wondering if Starlink, SpaceX, they paid a little bit behind the scenes, if you know what I mean. And one last note, SpaceX, they are targeting today, Wednesday, April 28th, 
11.45 p.m. or 11.44 actually p.m. Eastern Standard for another launch of Starlinks. So the license, like I said, it literally came at the perfect time. They're going to go ahead, put more into orbit, and I'm sure we'll have an another successful flight. If you guys want to watch that launch, it's going to be live on SpaceX. If you enjoyed the video, if you want more of this content, be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment down below. Have a good one.